This is just a quick video to show how to use sections in Google Forms. So you can skip through and if somebody answers no or something to a question, they can jump through to a new section rather than having to go through all the questions in that section. So for instance, if this is our normal thing, this is our very first question, we're just going to add a second question in here. Ask, did they meet the standard criteria? And we just go yes and no. So we're just adding in a standard question. At the moment I haven't gone and put the required in or anything like that, but we will add that very soon. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to add a new section. So the section two is going to be our main section. Okay, so that's what we're going to put all our main questions in. So we would then just go add a question into that section and we just do the same thing. Question main one. And we can just go, yeah, yeah, no, whatever, right? We can add multi-choice questions, we can do whatever. So we just do whatever if we have our main section. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add another section, which is our final section, uh, which we might say, hey, any more comments, add them in. So we just go add a question again, and we go, any more comments to add. And then we're just going to go, instead of multi choice, it automatically changes it to paragraph for us. Long answer text, done. Okay, so now we've got three sections. So what we're going to do is have it skip so that if somebody answers yes or no on this one, it's going to jump down to another section. So the way that we do this is that we click back into this question. So we activate it again. And you'll see that there's, you know, different things here. This is the choice of the question. We can add a picture. We can duplicate the question. We can delete it. We can say whether it's required or not. Now we definitely want this to be a required question, so that's going to require them to put one answer in because of the way that we've selected this as a multiple choice. And what we're going to do here is we're going to click here and go go to section based on answer. As soon as we do that, it allows us per answer to put where we would like them to go next. So if they say no, this whole questionnaire is about financial support. Okay, so we don't need them to answer any more from here. So what we're going to do is send them to section three, which is our final section. So you'll see that that's why we set that up first. There's no point in, in putting this in, clicking that button and there's no sections because then we're going to have to go and change it all. So it's much better to set the sections up first and then to, to go back and do this exercise. So yes, they don't need business support. So again, they're not relevant for us. So we're going to go, go to final, final, final section and then we're going to go keep doing this. So we go final section for this one because again, they don't need it. Again, they don't need it. And then for all of these next ones, we're just going to go continue to next section. Okay, so we're just going to do that. So did you meet the standard criteria? Again, we were going to make that a required question. Then what happens in here is obviously they go through their questions. Again, we can make them required or not, blah, blah, blah. Um, and we can just leave these because we want them to answer all the questions in this section because everyone that's in the section is getting business support. Okay. But if you have particular questions at the bottom, that would mean they don't need to answer anymore. Then again, you could do the same thing. You can go, go to section based on answer and then we can go and say which section we want them to go to. Turn that off and you'll see it turns it off. So that will be our test. Now what we can do is we can always preview and we can see what happens. So if we're not sure what's gonna, what it's going to do, this is what it looks like. Now just bear in mind when we have the sections like this, it's going to put each section on a different page. So please make sure that when you do it, that you put some sort of explanation up the top to warn them that there will be different sections, okay, and to warn them how long it might take. Otherwise it can be a bit frustrating. So have you been financially supported? I'm going to go, yes. Oh, we're going to go, yeah, but we don't meet the criteria. We might go, yes, we've changed our business model permanently. Did you meet the criteria? No, they didn't. Okay, so it does ask both those questions because we haven't skipped that section yet. But because I've gone next, it's going to jump straight to the final section. Okay, whereas if I had have ticked, yes, and we applied for COVID disaster payments, then it's going to go to the main section. Okay, so you'll see it's conditional based on the answer that I gave. And then all these answers will be recorded into our responses section of our form. And that should be it. So we can just close that down now. We'll go back to our form. And then we can just make any further changes there. Obviously fix up our questions. Once we are ready to send the form, then we, if we click on the send button, we can send via email 
and that will send out if you go include the form in the email it actually embeds it in the email but you don't have to do that you can just send them the link to the form which is what most people would do but if you want it in there you can click that one the alternative ones is to grab a link because the link is crazy long you can just go shorten URL and then go copy okay so that will give you the form link for them to send uh, to send to the client and you have the embed one this is when you are going to embed the form into your website so you actually want to have it on a page on a website you would grab this and use an embed html um, section on your website and put it in there so for instance on teachable which is a course platform you can embed these forms into the teachable website if you wanted to send a link via facebook then you just click facebook and it will open up your facebook and go to send you a link which obviously i don't want to do right this in time but I can say say something about it and it will link straight to that form so that allows you to send surveys via Facebook and again we we'll just go leave to go back to the main page and just go cancel that and I can edit that so obviously I can do things like change the colorways I don't like the purple so I can change it to a blue more suited to my brand colors we can choose images all that sort of fun stuff but that can be left for another time so hopefully that was useful just to show you how we can work with sections and obviously if we want to change questions if we want to move this question to the next section we can so it's just literally drag and drop like it would be normally